about to say it's a lot of the same faces out there besides IJ. I mean, why why will this team be, be better? Well, I, I think if you look at our team, the biggest jump you make as a basketball player is in your first offseason after playing college basketball. Mm -hmm. And if you look at our guys and look down our roster, most of the guys coming back fit that description. Mm -hmm. I mean, so Fred Thomas was a freshman. Chicken was a freshman. Gavin Ware was a freshman. You look at the junior college guys. Trevante Bloodman was a junior college guy. You look at Colin Borker was a junior college guy. So all of those guys coming back should have made their biggest jump that they're going to make as a college basketball player. And if you just look at our bodies, you know, Fred Thomas is a different person at this point in time, and I'm really happy with the jumps that he's made in his game so far. I know it's like a local referee crew, but are you happy with the points of emphasis being emphasized today? It seemed like ball screens and, you know, the arm bar in the post and even the contact up at the perimeter was really called tonight. Yeah, they, they've said they're going to clean the game up, and, and so they're calling it like they said they were going to call it. So I'm not surprised by that at all. As kind of a hardcore defensive guy, you know, and getting after it, how does that change? Do you have to change how you teach things, or, I mean, how does it affect that? I, I think what you don't want to do is you don't want to teach your guys to foul. You know, that's the, that's the most important thing. I think you still got to be tough. You got to be hard-nosed. You got to be a physical ball club. But you can't set your guys up for failure. And especially, like, we don't have depth on the front line. So I'd be a fool if I don't make sure I'm adhering to those new changes. A lot of times when coach scrimmage, they want to split their team up, try to bounce things out. But you didn't even try that, Jim. No. You just went at it and let them go. Yeah, and the reason why I didn't split them up is because we didn't have a second point guard. Mm -hmm. If Trevante would have been healthy and Colin Borker would have been healthy, then we would split the teams up. But there's really no other four man besides Raquez. There really is no other point guard besides IJ. So I wanted to put those guys together and so we can start getting ready for the basketball season. There was one sequence right that you had to excite you where uh, they pulled down a rebound and kicked down their four passes later and the ball never touches the floor or layup. That's what you'd like to see, you know, more advanced passes, more guys sharing the basketball without so much dribbling. Now, obviously, you need to dribble to facilitate at times, but as much as we can, we like freedom of movement by pushing the ball ahead. What allowed that to happen? What, what did they do to, to make that happen? Well, first and foremost, they got a defensive rebound. The, the one thing the White kept complaining about was they couldn't initiate their offense. Well, they couldn't initiate their offense because they never got a defensive stop. It's hard to push the basketball when you're taking the ball out of the net and taking it out of bounds, whereas the other team was getting stops, and so they were able to push the basketball. So the first thing that happened was a defensive rebound. Then beyond that, guys being willing to share the basketball. But beyond that, like actually running. You know, it's it's all everybody talks about. They want a fast break. They want to run. They want to play up tempo. But in order to happen for that to happen, is you have to be willing to run the court all the time and ninety percent of the time not getting the basketball. You know, you and, said on the backcourt, obviously, a year older, wiser. I mean, why why do you think you guys will be better this year? Well, we come to practice every day and pray hard. You know, it's show today that how we play on that practice how we um we gonna play the game from now on. So. How, I mean, describe your style, kind of. I mean, what are what are you trying to get better at? Really playing point. See, I, I got a little windy and stuff, so I, I got to start back on um, running to get some more ball handling drills and stuff. I'm really, really working on point guard position, too. I guess the big question is, how did you guys overcome the uh, in-game trade of I.J. Reddy to the white team? <laughs> <laughs> well, um, I.J., um, he's a good energy player. See, when he got on the other team, he brought them some energy. Uh, that's what he's going to do for us the rest of this year. So how does he make everybody better, Craig? I mean, it just seems like instantly. That's my first look at him. He, he just makes everybody else on the floor better. By him being aggressive, he get everybody to the game. That will happen when he switch team. You see how, see how he um, all right, that what he do. Were you, were you impressed how Raquez came out there and looked more aggressive today in offensive <laughs> end? Yeah, yeah. He's, he's been getting a lot better this year. There was one sequence, I think. Um, all five guys touched the ball, and it, but there wasn't a dribble. Um, is that kind of how you guys want to play, that pace and that type of success? Yeah, we, we try to get more of that uh, happening, like on fair breaks and stuff. No dribble, just get it down the court on no on dribble and then make ball up. How are you able to practice that, uh, I guess, like during the practices? But how how, how is that executed and then it brought into well, a game? Yeah, the practice, um, Coach Tiller look, look ahead all the time. So once I got it, I looked ahead and he just seen the extra pass. The extra pass always good. How hard has it been for you, Craig, to, to kind of learn how to guard, push on the perimeter without using your hands? I mean, there's going to be a big point of emphasis this year that well, hand checking's not allowed, and then you're not going to bump anybody off screen. Freedom of movement's going to be a big deal. Yeah, that's going to be hard because you know a lot of the, um, 
past year, you got to bump them at least to get your position. But now that we've been working on, don't start getting used to it. <laughs> what do you weigh now? Uh, right now I am 206. So you have put some muscle on there. Uh, yes, sir. So Fred, that last foul, you know, I, I noticed Rick Ray had you, Coach Ray had you going over the ref and having him go over the point of emphasis. You know, how hard is that on the on the wing to kind of get that down to guarding without without using your hands? Uh, I think it's very <laughs> hard because like like as of now, like you cannot like get up on them, bump them, as y'all say. Like you guys got to keep your uh, distance and just play defense, keep them in front. You said you're 206 now. How, what were you playing at last year? Uh, last year I was 195, and when I first first got here, my freshman year, mm -hmm. I was like 180, so I picked up like 26 pounds. How does I mean? How does that kind of translate to the court? I mean, what do you think it makes you better at? Um, I think it made me better at. I think it be made me better at rebounding, playing better defense, and uh, being more aggressive. Like just being more aggressive throughout the whole game. Is it nice? You know, I know last year it seemed like everything was new for you guys. It was a first, you know, first conference game, first this, first that, everything. Do you think, you know, with more guys having experience that, you know, did it feel different that, you know, you guys could do a little more things this year? Uh, yeah, I think we can do a whole lot this year. Like, we coming back as as uh, sophomores and juniors, and we got a couple of seniors. So we know the game. Like, we know what it's going to be like. So we're going to be prepared for it. How does I, I asked Craig this, but how does IJ make you better out on the wing? How does he make the four other guys on the floor better? Uh, like Craig said, he play aggressive. He real aggressive, and like he got a big heart. He play, he play, and like he's like a up tempo guy. So like he push the ball, get on the break, uh, just be ready to shoot. So he can open up my game for me. Thanks, Thanks, Thanks. Thanks. Appreciate it.